So today's a windy day, very, very windy day, so our audio is probably going to be pretty crappy on this. We're going to talk about uh, the Magicycle and our opinions on the ride, um, you know, as we go along, give you some shots of it rolling. Um, we did add another flashlight, I'm sorry, headlight. We've had that. We had that from our scooters and our bikes. You can see I'm going to be trailing along Heidi with the scooter there, uh, getting you some shots. Uh, the one thing I do like is the display. That one is far better than any of the rest rad power bikes or the um, magic um, le- sorry electric bikes that we had in the past i do like that you can add a front rack just like we did on our rad power bikes uh this is kind of cool we did we didn't know how we would like that initially but it does work um and it's very simple so what is that that is the alarm uh so you can see the key fob here is pretty straightforward you uh, push one button to arm it and then uh, whenever it gets moved, like Heidi will show you here. And then you just push B to disarm it. So if somebody wants to push it really slow and not hit any bumps and don't put up the kickstand, then you you know, you might be able to take it. <laughs> of course, that may not be a deterrent, but I'll have to say that uh, it, it does work really well. Better than the other ones we've had in the past for uh, scooters. It's They're a little bit more complicated on and off. Uh, also, the, the uh, lock, um, that is really nice that we don't have to have a key, which I'm carrying around so many keys, guys, you have no idea, especially when we're riding bikes. Um, so if we're just stopping somewhere briefly, it'd be nice and easy just to throw that, you know, throw that in. Uh, take it off, wrap it around a couple things and put it back. Rad power bikes and the electric bikes, uh, these are probably the better grips between the two. And the reason is, is these bar end caps. Now you won't, you wouldn't think, you know, me talking about those bar ends, that that would be a big deal. Well, it is because on the Rad Power Bikes, this is all enclosed. This whole thing is all one piece, right? It's all sealed off to make it look nicer. And it does. It looks pretty nice. I mean, this looks a little clunky as far as having a plug on the end of this nice, what, you know, is a a leather-wrapped, pleather-wrapped grip. But the reason I like that is if we want to add a bar-end mirror, which we've done that in the past, um, on our mopeds especially, I don't have to take the whole grip off to do so. I just pull that off and put the bar end in there and tighten it down and it's finished. To find one that's this size might be a little bit difficult, but that's something we may look at into in the future because the grips do get smaller. The handlebar does get smaller as it gets closer to the grips. So let's go ahead and get a ride on this and uh, I'll uh, give you my thoughts. Uh, Heidi, she'll chime in every once in a while to let me know what's happening. Thank you. 
there is no doubt that place is closed. in the shade that's why you see the palm tree trying to intrude on the video but uh, the trip was only five miles this battery still at a hundred percent a hundred percent so obviously we're gonna have to do a ride that's more lengthy and higher speed uh, for the battery to even show its true color um, yeah I, I didn't expect that now you know, I'm riding on the, the uh, nine bot here, and I was at 90%. I dropped one bar. That's probably about uh, 80, 70%, possibly. But this thing trucks. Let's go see what Heidi thought about it um, now that we got back. But I, I thought for sure the battery was going to show some indication of where. What was the braking? How was the braking? Was it okay? Was it smooth? Actually, it's very smooth. Now, we are a little biased. Uh, because when we had the rad power bikes the braking on that was pretty good then we went to electric bikes and electric bikes I'm gonna have to say they were the braking was okay but it was definitely yeah, they, the braking is very good on this so the thing that you may be asking yourself and it's a big ask why would you want electric bikes and if you go back on our videos and watch how many times we've done bike rides on beaches or scooter rides, which could have just easily been on a bicycle. Anything we do on a scooter, you could definitely do on a bicycle. But uh, bicycle uh, rides on the beaches, bike trails into the city, uh, adding cargo racks onto our bikes and picking up groceries. And now at the current time of filming, our gas prices for premium fuel, which I have a gas truck, just to let you know. Um, premium fuel is five dollars a gallon, right around four eighty to five dollars a gallon, uh, depending on where you get it at. And once we get to a location, especially in Florida, I don't know what it is. You can ask Heidi. What's the deal with the parking spaces? They're tiny. And, and even how about the drive-throughs? Uh -huh. Arrow. So the whole reason to leave this truck sitting where it currently is and go do all of our errands, obviously. If you're not an avid bike rider and you just get a regular bicycle, you won't be happy because it's going to be a struggle. If you're not used to going three or four or five miles and your, your legs or your knees or your hips can't handle it, that's where the electric bike comes in handy where it'll help you out <laughs> it'll do the work for you i mean you can still pedal every time we buy an electric bike 
we do the same thing. So far on this one, we haven't, and I don't know if we need to. I'll have to ride this one a little bit further, but what do you think about the seat? The seat is not terrible. I would actually have to stay with this seat if I continue to ride the bike because it's hard for me to get on and off because it's so tall. Yeah, I think that it, what we'd have to do is, if anything, if we found another seat for her, it would have to be one that sits a little bit lower because it will only take just a little bit, maybe uh, an inch and a half. And if we could flip the mounting bracket and make it to where that seat sat down more on the post. I'm getting used to riding it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nice. I, again, the, the lights on it, we'll have to check out the, the headlights on a, on a much different term. They include this, which I talked about. Uh, we've got all our tools in here. I used it with the phone, and it works pretty good. I know, again, I'm trying to keep it out of the sun, but you guys are missing out because the palm trees are trying to get its uh, cameo appearance. Uh, as far as the function, this is different than most of them. Most of them, we've always had to push a button and hold it to turn on the... This has a, it has a separate power button up on top, um, which you do push and hold. But, uh, again, the display is probably the most... Uh, significant thing out of all of this stuff um, just the way it looks and I'm sure there's other things you can change but you've got you know pedal assist differences of course um, Heidi likes to run it on one there's the uh, trip the odometer four miles obviously max speed has Heidi's gone 28.7 miles per hour um, which I don't think she's ever done that any other time have you I did 29 on the Red City. Pedaling uh, down a yeah. hill. Oh, well, pedaling. Yeah, but down a hill, right? No, I was, uh, we were... At Okeechobee? Uh, no. It was on Port the, Orange? When we rode out the back of the park and down. Oh. I pedaled my butt off and did 29 something. Wow. I, so it's probably pretty close. Trip 4.9, again, max speed, and then average speed. Her average speed was 4 miles an hour. I don't know. I think that we're uh, looking at probably a big-time contender here for fat tire bike uh, as far as the way it compares to everybody compares them to the same one, Rad Power Bike and that Hemiway. And so far, I can tell that this motor, the, the controller, everything, the way it's set up, it's got a little more oomph than what we had with the Rad Power Bike. Yeah, uh, the activation of the pedals and that when you're pedaling, it is a little more choppier. It's not quite as smooth, but it's barely noticeable. And for you guys that don't ride these bikes a lot, um, it's not a big deal. You'll you'll understand it. You'll get used to it. But that's just me being finicky. Um, of course, the cargo tie down. You know, it comes with these bungees. We didn't add these, and if the uh, cargo rack. The fact that it's included. Like I said, my Rad Power bike, the Rad Rover 5, I had to I had to buy the rear rack. They didn't even come with it. And funny thing is, is the Rad Rover, as I mentioned in the first video on the Magicycle, when they first came out, they didn't even include fenders. So the fact that this company includes the fenders, it includes the rear rack. It gives you a brake light, which is not a very bright brake light, but nonetheless, there's a brake light with a tail light that's LED, a headlight, that's not needing to be upgraded. Again, when Rad Power first came out, you had to upgrade to this kind of a headlight. Of course, they include them now, but uh, this bike company being kind of just out of the box for over the you know last few years, uh, this is definitely a powerful headlight that comes with it. They also include your, your uh, phone holder, which also doubles kind of as a, a small cargo carrier. Like I said, we, we have our tools. How do you put our cigarettes in there? I'm sure. <laughs> and the charger, it does, port for a charger. which our electric bikes did not have that. It does have a USB charger. So when your phone's in here, you could run a cord to it, charge it or whatever other accessory. Like we could use the battery to charge our headlight our auxiliary headlight if we wanted to do that and more than anything we don't use this so much as a headlight we use it as a flasher it's a it's a flashing beacon just to give people warning now at night we may turn it on but uh, that's the only reason we have those and then they also include the lock the onboard lock so oh sorry and we already talked about it, the alarm so the fact that they're including all those features already You've got a, a chain guard there to protect the frame from getting it greased up whenever you hit bumps. I, I'm, I'm impressed with it so far. 
So we've got a little bit longer with this thing and uh, we'll come back and let you know. But so far, this thing's been a plus and I think uh, we're gonna continue to like it. I, I think, that, like Heidi had said, if this was shorter, this would be her favorite bike. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. It's a, it's, it's a comfortable ride. Um, like I said, it's just a little too tall. Yep. And again, to remind everybody, she's five foot three. Uh, the inseam on this requires somebody to be a little bit taller. Well, and let me let me verify or let me qualify that with a disclaimer. You would have we, to be at least ninety nine pounds to have your little skinny legs get through here. Right. <laughs> well, when you're standing. But here's the what the thing is is most of the riders, most riders, most real bike riders, when they ride, they set their seat up higher to where they can't even touch the ground because they want their leg, when this pedal is on its fully extended downstroke, which I, that's not quite it, but pretty close. When that pedal is fully extended, they want their leg to be fully extended to the pedal or close to it. Not quite, but almost. Whereas the way we ride, we're just casual riders. We like to ride flat footed to where when we come to a stop, we don't have to get off the seat. We just put our feet down and it's flat footed. Heidi has to tippy toe to keep it balanced when she stays on the seat. So now she's relegated to either leaning one way to the other, uh, you know, tilting the bike or trying to use that step through. But again, the step through, there's just not enough room there. Um, that's the only downfall that she has as that rider being a little bit shorter but for me it's it's more than fine and i find it pretty comfortable actually so we'll give it again a little bit more time on this and we'll revisit it but for magic cycle and for rv daydream that's it we'll have heidi close this one out as always we hope to see you out here bye maybe riding bikes